I've finally gotten here. All reviews have led to this moment. The game and the Dragon Quest Monster series that made me want to start these reviews. Joker 1 was a game I played in 2008 up until 2016. Believe it or not, this game came out on the original Nintendo DS in Japan in 2006. Isn't it interesting that it went unnoticed? Everything is in full 3D minus some grass and the leaves on the trees, but come on, don't knock it for that. Yet Pokemon Diamond and Pearl came out in 2007 and still used sprites for the monsters and a mostly 2D world, yet got all kinds of praise. Epic eye roll. I love this game for a number of reasons. The living, breathing monsters that roam the map, all monsters are in 3D, the battles are more animated than the Pokemon games that came out around the time and even after it. It pushed the limits of the Nintendo DS. The worlds are vibrant and colorful, akin to Super Mario Sunshine. The music fits the entire world of the game. The story, while being generic, is very mature for a monster collecting game of the time period. Core Loop. Breeding, er, synthesizing monsters returns in this game. Apparently in the Japanese version, monsters have genders like in past games, but it was apparently changed to polar patterns in the USA release. I cannot confirm this, I just read it on some forums. Okay, so synthesizing returns in this game. This time, you get to choose two parents and have an option of choosing one of three possible outcomes. An odd but welcome change from the past of only having one set outcome. Most of the breeding formulas you are familiar with from the past Monsters games are thrown out the window, so it's a total mystery as to which monsters you'll have to choose from. The subtle changes make it fun and different from past games, and therefore your curiosity meter should be greatly increased if you've never played anything past Dragon Warrior Monsters 2. Running through different islands and dungeons are fun as well. For the time and system this came out during, it should have sold way more than it did. I'll give this game a 10 out of 10. Every question asked. <laughs> 